So whether you're doing a confidence interval or a hypothesis test, you need to know which statistic to use, either the Z or the T. So I want to start with this example. We've got nurses and we want to compare their average age to the national average. Should we use a T statistic or a Z statistic? Well, let's start with that Z statistic. So I've got the formula here. X bar is going to be our sample mean. Mu is our population mean. N is the sample size and sigma is our population standard deviation and that's what makes this a Z statistic, that population standard deviation. Now for the T statistic, it looks almost identical. The only difference is S and S represents our sample standard deviation. These two values are very, very similar, and the distributions are also similar. The Z statistic lives on the normal distribution. That T statistic lives on the T distribution. Since we only have that sample standard deviation, notice how it's a little bit wider because we are just estimating that standard deviation. But as N gets bigger, as our sample size gets bigger, that T distribution looks more and more like the normal distribution. So back to our example. We've got 78 nurses at City Hospital. Now City Hospital is going to be our sample because these nurses are also part of that national average. So the national average is our population with a mean and a population standard deviation of 8.2. So we do have that population standard deviation and we're gonna go ahead and apply the Z formula. Here's what that looks like. So Z is equal to X bar minus mu divided by that standard deviation over the square root of N. So we have 48.2 minus that 44, the national average, divided by the standard deviation for the national value, which is 8.2, all over the square root of that sample size of 78. I'm gonna very carefully put this into my calculator using parentheses around that numerator, and I end up with that Z statistic of 4.52358, so if I round that to four decimal places, I'm gonna have 0.5236. Let's take a look at this next slightly altered example. Now I've changed this example just a little bit. Now for City Hospital, I know the average age and the standard deviation, but the City Hospital is the sample, so I'm gonna represent that as an S. So S, our sample standard deviation is 6.9, and then of course I've got that national average of 44, so I end up with mu is equal to 44. We do not know the population standard deviation. This one is a T. Let's go ahead and do this calculation as well. So T is equal to X bar, which is 48.2, minus our mean, which is 44, divided by now our sample standard deviation, which is 6.9, all divided by the square root of 78. From my calculator, I end up with that T statistic, and it's very close to what I got for the Z, 5.37. Um, 585, so I'm going to call that 59. I've got another video for you here. You've got this.